I feel like we're about to watch an awesome anime right now. Except for the fact that we actually get to play that shit. Welcome everyone to Let's Play Persona 4. Yeah! Presented to you by Atlas, of course. Let's go ahead and press the button now before something else happens, like goes to the demo again, or whatever. Dude, you guys, are, I, mm, I've gotten requests to play a Persona game many times. Any Persona game, really. And some of you might be asking, why would you start with Persona 4 when there's clearly a 1 and a 2 and a 3 that you could start with? You know me, and I don't like to start at the, you know, the end of a series. It's not really the end so much, as but it's the latest entry number-wise in the series, as far as I know. I know Persona 5 or whatever is on the way, but the point is, I've never played a Persona game in my life, and I kind of asked around and got a, opinions and shit, and I kind of decided that Persona 4 was probably going to be the one we need to play if we're going to let's play any of them. It was a choice between 3 and 4, obviously, and I, I, I settled on 4 just simply because it just is the most recent and people said I don't know uh, I don't know they just say that a lot of the things are really just the, there's a lot of good things about this game there's good things about three too but I I just decided on four I kind of had four in my mind from the beginning and then people who've already played it kind of said go ahead do that that's perfect for you I was like sweet so like I said I've never played a persona game before it fits into the October theme right 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 it doesn't matter it doesn't fucking matter we're just gonna do this shit let's just start a new game and I feel like, do I have some, did I have something else I wanted to discuss at the beginning here? I feel like I did. Anyway, let's just click the new game already, and if I think of it, I'll explain it when I get to it. I'm sure we have plenty of intro stuff to get to here, so let's just get it cracking. Before you begin the story, choose a difficulty level in battle. Normal, beginner, and expert. I like how it's in that order. Well, you know me. We never play anything on beginner unless it's motherfucking shmup, so we're going normal. Expert only because I don't know how to play. This setting is intended for experienced gamers. You will be able to enjoy the normal challenge of battle, which requires a certain degree of strategy. Once you have begun, this setting cannot be changed without restarting the game. Continue? Of course, if I can't beat the RPG on normal, seriously. The game's too hard if I can't beat it on normal. Now, please sit back and enjoy the game. But, I thank you for telling me, Atlas. I wasn't going to do that. But thank you now that you've told me, I'm going to do that. Characters, art, and storylines depicted in this game are purely the work of fiction. Any similarity to blah, blah, blah? South Park. All right. We got intro cutscene. Here we go, baby. God, I'm so excited for this. <gasps> headlights. Headlights. Not the kind of headlights I would have liked to stare at, but the headlights nonetheless. Somebody epic must be driving this car. Called it. She's epic. Is she alive? Okay, she's alive. Oh, okay. And apparently, there is. Is that his nose? Don't. Oh my god, that is his schnoz. What a schnoz on that guy. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you? For. Well, um. Uh, mm, the Velvet Room, huh? Okay. Ah, it seems we have a guest okay, the... with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> I thought maybe it was just going to be like part of the dialogue was voice acted, but no. Full voice acting, good. Less talking for me to do. Or I should say less My reading. My name is Igor. Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. I'm delighted to meet your fucking giant pickle schnoz, this place bro. This exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Okay. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. Okay. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Sounds well, good. Then, why don't you introduce ah, yourself? Ah, that's what this is. I knew I had a feeling that's what this was. This is going to be just the intro where we like pick stuff to set up the game. That's how this is going to be. I've played plenty of RPGs with other stuff like this. Well, enter my last name. Oh, we gotta have a we're gonna have a full name. All right, last name G. Done. 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 Last name G. We're done. We're done. Can we can we just go to done? Wait, enter. Oh, last name first line. Ah, first name second line. All right, you already know what it is then. Last name G. 
first name Funky. Funky. Be Funky. G. I'm kind of excited to see how they how they say my name in this game if they're gonna actually use my name. Because whether they refer to me as Funky first name or G last name, it's fine with me. Proceed. Sounds good to me. Hell yeah. I like how it did the last name first name thing too. It's an alphabetical proper name thing. Hmm. I see. Oh my god, if he said my name out loud, I'd fucking give Let's the game a high a five right now. Future, shall we? All right, time to decide some other kind of thing, probably fate or some shit. Do you believe in fortune telling? Not at all. But I guess for the sake of this game, I will. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. Is that right? <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? I suppose so. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Well, that's never the good. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. Okay. This card represents... Hesitation and mystery. Hey, that's true. Very interesting. I have well, indeed. not the hesitation part, but the mystery part for sure. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Well, that's what the description of the game said, so I would hope In so. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. Okay. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Well, that sucks. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Well, aren't you just the useful big nose motherfucker you are? What's ah, with the beezy in the corner? I How come she? Yeah, I was about to, to say. My I was just about to say. What about her? Are you just gonna leave me without introducing your fucking hot little friend over there? This is Margaret. Hey Margaret, she how's it going, baby? Of this place, like myself. Sup, Margaret? Sup, baby? My name is Margaret. Oh, she talks too. I'm here to accompany you through your journey. Cool. We shall attend to the details another time. Alrighty then. Until then, farewell. I bid you adieu, good sir. All right. Well, we chose our name. That's basically all we really learned there, and we learned that we're going to encounter a mystery, which basically the description. Of the whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Pretend I wasn't talking. <laughs> oh my god. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. <laughs> the news guy's like, and that's my favorite commercial. <laughs> If first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. That must be us. Since I didn't say his name, they just said he. It's probably us. As in, the character I will be controlling. I wonder if he's a silent protagonist. We'll find out right now if he starts talking. Meet us outside. We'll arrive at the Yasugami terminal in a few minutes. All right. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. I like our awesome gray silver hair. Fuck cool. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. Should Mike we Fiona. go soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... What happened there?
What's happening? Oh, this must be the mystery. Prepare for the mystery. Prepare for silence. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Alright, we're in Yaso Inaba. Let's check it out. Afternoon, 4 11, Monday after. Like I said, the M is a Monday. Alright, I like the graphics already of the actual hey, game. Over here. Hey, over here. Who said it? I think we are going to be a silent protagonist. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Oh, it's probably like foster parents or I'm at least Ritaro a person. Dojima. Yeah. I'll be looking after you. Okay. Like somebody who's going to be our, like our our host family, Let's I guess see. you call it. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Oh, no, he is family. Okay. Uncle. You call him uncle. It's been a long time. It's nice to meet you. Should we say we know him? Let's just say it's nice to meet you. I don't know him. You probably don't remember, but yeah, we've met. See. I've changed your diapers before, you know? Well, how would I know that? This here's my daughter. So my little cousin. What Come up, on, little cuz? Introduce yourself to your cousin. Nanako? <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Konnichiwa. What are you so shy for? What Ow. the... She just spanked her dad. That's not weird at all. I swear. Well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Well then, let's fucking get going then. Let's do this. You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. Well, this is gonna be... This is gonna be interesting. I, that's all I can really say so far. I mean, clearly we're just... We're, we're, we're learning right now. Let's... I don't know if we're actually going to get any gameplay here in this first episode. I have no idea. One thing I have neglected to mention is that we're probably in for a very long ride with this Let's Play. I am aware that these Persona games are quite long affairs. Anyway, let's shut the hell up for a second. We're at the Central Shopping District gas station. Apparently we didn't have enough gas to get all the way Hi. home. Welcome to Mall. Oh, and they have gas station attendants. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. Are you sure? It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. Oh, that's racist, man. Racist towards left-handers, bro. I'm left-handed. No. Jeez. Bitch, don't tell me what right and left is. Are you taking a trip? Of course. No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. From the big city. The city, huh? Big city, boy. Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. That's right. Good Do your damn job. Smoke. Quit talking. Yeah, good as time as any for a smoke right around the gas station. Are mm -hmm. you in high school? Uh. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Do I really want to work at the gas station? Not particularly, but thought, I may have no you? other choice. We don't mind if you're a student. Whatever. We just handshaking? That's all it is. Oh, I should get back to work. Yeah, you should probably pump my goddamn gas. Nanaka, uh, wh so what? Stop staring at me, little girl. We're just cousins. Are you okay? I'm just Did fine. Did you get car sick? I don't you get car sick. You look too good. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. So you, it just like explains your thought process. You never actually talk, I guess. So we definitely have silent protagonist on our hands. I kind of like this setup. It gives you some character to the world that you're living in here. And now we're in the afternoon. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. All right, well, let's check it out. Evening time, here we come. All right, let's have a toast. To what? 
Okay, to nothing, just a toast. Let's have a toast, drink up. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Oh, that's, that's why we had to year. move? Because our mom Getting and dad left us? Like that's not cool. Of your parents? That's rough, being a kid. That's well, pretty fucked up. It's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Will do, sir. Yes, sir! I'll do just that. Good. Well, anyway, let's eat. I guess you can be kind of a dick if you really wanted to. Ugh. Bitch, Who's you can't be having time? a phone call during dinner. That's so rude. How rude. Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. But looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. It seems to me he must be a policeman of some kind. Just based on that conversation, I am surmising that much. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Does he usually leave his daughter behind like this? Such an irresponsible Nanako, it's parent. Raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Okay, so we get, we've established it's raining, with, and it's depicted by the umbrella in the top right corner. <sighs> I'm wondering how long it'll be before we actually do Let's something. Let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. Let's do it. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Okay. Let's eat. I'm hungry. You find yourself alone with Nanako. Thank you. You might want to strike up a conversation. What does your dad do? Yeah, see, let's see if we can get the answer to what I thought. He investigates stuff. Yep, detective. Like policeman, detective, law enforcement, whatever you want to call it, that's what he is. My dad's a detective. There you go. Booyah. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. So we heard. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. Okay. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. Fair enough. She ruined her this fucking career, boring. basically. <laughs> Little kids would be like, fuck this. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Juness? Every day is great at your Juness. Such a good jingle. Every day is great at your <laughs> Oh, of course. Your she beat me to it. I was actually going to sing it. Aren't you going to eat? Uh, yeah. Let me throw up real quick from that song and then I'll eat. Anyways. So we actually get to move yet? You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Okay, cool. So we can actually move around now. Sweet, look at us running. Oh my god, I'm going to get dizzy. Good thing the camera doesn't move every time I spin around. Let's try and interact with things. I feel like we should be able to. Fridge, you open the fridge. There is some fried rice. Eat it. Fuck yeah, eat the fried rice. I know we just had dinner, but I want some fried rice, homie. Mmm, it has no taste at all. Strange. Probably because it's just, this is just, it's the kitchen. If you have some ingredients, you can make lunch for tomorrow. Huh. Are we really gonna, is this really gonna get that deep where we actually have to make ourselves lunch and shit? Oh my god. I'm kind of interested to see. Anyway, um, I wonder if I should just save it and end the episode here or if I should look around. It's too late to leave home today. Okay, so that's the way out of here. Before I go upstairs, let's talk to the little girl, see what, if we can strike up some more combo. Um,. Nanako's at a loss. You should leave her alone. Okay, can we change the channel on her? You ask the Nanako, Nanako for permission and change the channel to the forecast. The rain should stop at least for a bit tomorrow afternoon. However, it may resume over the weekend. Okay, well, it's going to rain for a majority of the week until Sunday. It'll be a sunny day. Got it. Alright, is there anything else we can do up in this bitch or what? Are we done here? 
I guess we're done here for now. Let's hit up the calendar, learn how to save it, see how long saving takes. Alright. Man, my excitement to play this game is boundless. Alright, saved up. Let's do it. Upstairs we go, because it's pretty much our only option at this point. Hey, look, it's our room. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. Alright, let's check out the sofa. You are tired from a long trip. It would be best if you went to bed early today. Okay. Work table. You are tired from a long trip. Okay, so I can't even look around. Man, this is going to be like a true like slice of life game even. Can we turn on the TV at least? We can't even put on the TV when we go to sleep, man. But I do but that's but that's what I do, bro. I how do how am I supposed to sleep if I don't have the TV on? And I'm not even kidding. In real life, that's what I do. It's hard for me to go to sleep without some kind of noise going on, like TV or something in the background. Video. Some kind of video. Anyway, the futon has been prepared. The day will end if you decide to go to bed. You may have a good dream. Oh, dude. I always have a good dream. Never bad dreams. Always good. Anyway. You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Apparently, school doesn't start on Monday. It starts on Tuesdays. I don't live in Japan, so that might be a real thing. I have no idea. Anyways, time for that good dream, I guess. Hello, good dream. Hello, red Mario bricks that we're standing on. This doesn't look like a very good dream. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. I thought I was... This is not... I just finished playing Silent Hill. I, I can't play... No! All you can do right now is proceed forward. Uh... Okay. Well, then... Do it. I guess. <laughs> Alright. Well. Apparently, we're in our dream world and we have to actually move around. Whatever. Fine. Let's just go forward with our lives. Since that's all we can do. Yeah, it looks like the side paths are ain't shit, so... Except for when you have, except for when the path curves, game. Try to play with my mind. I don't know what we're even doing. What are we doing in the dream world? Do you seek the truth? I am a truth seeker. You heard someone's voice. I always seek the truth. In fact, if you tell me lies, I'll break your. I'll poke. Uh, if you tell me lies, I'll stab you in the eyes. There you go. That 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 rhymes. It's if it's the truth you desire, come and find me. The voice came from up ahead. Well, that's the way we're going, seeing as how we have no other friggin' choice. So let's see what's up ahead. It's a wall. You sense someone beyond this. This is a door? Continue? Of course. No, I'm just gonna stand out here until the game kills itself. I guess that was a door. Why the fuck is it playing Friday the 13th music all of a sudden? So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Why do wait what? This is the what? <laughs> okay, hold the phone. We are in a battle system all of a sudden. Like, we went from slice alive learning about the world to dream world battle time immediately. Like, no transition. I mean, there was a transition. Don't get me wrong, but like, there was no setup for any of this. Anyway, we're fighting some kind of ghostly being. Just like any RPG, we have a menu to attack. We have guard and skill. I'm just gonna go straight up and hit up attack, cause what else? What else do you do in your first battle ever? Yeah, six damage, bitch. Hmm. It seems that you can see a little despite the fog. You damn right, bitch. I'm gonna hit you again too. I see. Indeed, you possess an interesting quality. I'm gonna keep chopping your ass then. But you will not catch me so easily. If you if what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fog? Oh great. Make him even more hard to find. The surroundings are covered in fog. Can we can we still attack? Nope, won't connect. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Can maybe one of our skills can do something about this. Or they can all be in Japanese and I don't know what the fuck they do. Oh, square info. Here we go. That's what we want. Deals electric damage to one foe. Deals physical damage to one foe. 
Increases one allies. Maybe we can hit him with magic. Let's try the Zeo. Damn it. Okay, so maybe we just can't hit him. Will we meet again? At a place other than here. <laughs> I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. But we are... Wait. We already were lost... Con that's... I mean, we were... This is dream world, so we were already unconscious. So we got our consciousness back, is what you should have said. Anyways, so that was weird. 